we get to play awesome courses every week on the PGA Tour, and then it's even, you know, just a bonus to go out and play some of those other nice courses in the area. When you have a good enough golf course, you don't have to have these huge entrances with these signs that let people know that the golf course is here. For Zach Blair, the perfect place to get some practice reps in before he tees it up at the Valspar Championship is just a short drive away from Innisbrook Golf Resort. Thank you guys for having us. Mark, thanks for having us. Yeah, yeah. Nice to have you here. To hear him talk about all the different courses that he plays on purpose. He'll go to wherever the tournament is, and if he has a free day, he'll purposely go find another course. Both the greens on eight are like super severe. Just try to give him a little insight on what our architect did, and he was really soaking it in. Picked up on a lot of the subtleties on this golf course that the average guy may not see. You see bunkers like that kind of at Cypress Point flashing up at the, the back end, which is pretty cool. I've always had a huge passion for golf architecture, and I'm obviously just a huge golf fan in general. But Blair's passion for golf course architecture far exceeds that of a fan. My dad has always kind of been in the uh, golf business, whether it's redesigning or managing courses or drawing golf courses. So I, like any kid, you know, copied my dad. Every course that you go play has different aspects, and I just want to bring kind of one of those to Utah. I basically take those things, put them in this notebook, draw them out or write them down, and see where I can incorporate them at the Buck Club. The Buck Club is Blair's very own self-designed golf course, but at the moment, his dream exists only within the pages of his sketchbook. It doesn't have a course built yet, but me and my friends know that it's real. And the idea here is to be able to feed the shots in from the front right. My favorite drawing that I've ever done is maybe this, this one right here. Double fairway, two holes run parallel to each other. I just want it to be an old classic design with more modern yardages where guys can go out and have fun and have a nice laid back, you know, vibe of the course. He wants to pick up ideas at all these different clubs and then incorporate what he thinks are even better ideas to make his club uh, the best possible. He said, I'd like to incorporate this, I, I like that, I'm going to change my drawings, you know, we heard a lot of that out there today. It'll be cool in future years to kind of see how it progresses from the drawings to the actual building of the course. We got the logo put on some hats and we've been given hats away on some Twitter giveaways. People seem to really like it. I think it's got, you know, somewhere around a thousand followers. So that's pretty cool to see it interact with some of the fans. I'm not sure how many courses actually have Twitter handles, but. <laughs> Until his dream course becomes a reality, Blair will continue to soak in all that a career on the PGA Tour has to offer. All right. Perfect. On the board. Oh, thanks for having us out. Appreciate it. Yeah. My, you know, playing career on the PGA Tour is much more important than this as far as I'm concerned. I'm blessed that I get to actually play as a profession right now. I always want to have my hand somewhere in the golf realm. So it'll be nice to be able to hopefully do that later on down the road and be involved in it that way.